Hey everyone, in today's Zoom video, I wanna show you how to share your screen on Zoom. And I wanna show you how to do it on the Zoom application on the computer. It works on Mac, on PC, on Chromebook. And I wanna show you how to do it on the Zoom mobile app. And I wanna show you some of the advanced settings that you have for sharing your screen. I'm gonna have a conversation with myself, so I'll do two different meetings, one on my phone, one on my computer, so you can see both sides from the participant and the host of the meeting. Let me go ahead and jump into the Zoom app here and start a new meeting. If you're the host, you could press share screen right here. I'll show you what to do as a participant. But as a host, just press share screen right here and it's gonna open this window and it's gonna ask you, what do you want to share? This is my desktop right now. The problem with this is they could see everything on my desktop if it's cluttered like this. You could also share a second screen and that's what I recommend if you have a second monitor. You could pick up a monitor for relatively cheap. I'll put the one I have in the description below. It just connects to the main computer here, the main monitor. And you have two monitors. So you could just share this one, move any window to this one. Much cleaner to share it this way. There's also a whiteboard where you could draw with a marker, digital marker here. You could also share connected devices like the iPhone. And you have some advanced options, like you could share a portion of your screen if you want. You could share with music and computer sound only and content from another camera plugged into your computer. Now these are more advanced settings and you could share files as well. But right now we just wanna share our screen. So I'm gonna press desktop here. And another thing to pay attention to down here, it says share computer sound. If you're playing a video, you wanna check this on. So the video plays with audio. You could also optimize if you're sharing a video, click this on too. So these two need to be checked on for sharing audio from your computer and optimizing for video playback. I'll go ahead and press share in this case. I don't wanna share a video. And the person is seeing my screen right now. I'll cut to the phone. See, this is the phone. This is the participant of this meeting. And this is what they're looking at right now. So as I move things around in my screen, they won't see the zoom screen, but they'll see everything behind it. So if I minimize the zoom screen and I'll go over here, for example, and I'll press spacebar here to show that, see, they could see exactly what I'm showing over here. This whole screen is being shown on the other person's computer. If I open this image, they could see that pretty much anything I could do, even if I jump on the web, or let me share a code here. They could see that on their screen. I could show Photoshop here. They could see that on their screen. So that's why it's sometimes better to share a second monitor and not everything that's showing up on your main screen. Now, let me go back to Zoom here. You could also start your video. Now, when you share your video, they could see your video, they could hear you, and they could see your screen all at the same time in one screen, even on the phone. So that's really useful. On the computer here as the host, I'm gonna stop sharing. So to stop sharing, you just press this right here. And now let me show you how to share your screen as a participant. So as a host of the meeting, I have to turn this on. So I have to press this arrow and go to advanced sharing option. Let me open this up. So right now, how many participants can share their screen? Only one participant. So you could have multiple participants if you're having a big group discussion and everyone needs to share their screen, check this on who can share their screen. Right now, I could only share my screen as the host of the meeting. So on my phone, I can't turn this on actually and share my screen. I'm gonna get an error that says only the host can share the screen. So what I need to do is I need to check this on. So all participants could share their screen. Who can start sharing their screen with someone else's sharing? You could also change this to all participants if you want anybody to share their screen anytime they feel like it. And now if I exit, let's go to the phone here. And now inside of the phone, I could actually press right here and go to share screen on the bottom. It's in the same spot, press that. And now I wanna share my screen. You also have all these other options here too. So if you just wanna share one website URL, you could do that. But let me just share my screen here. And there you go. Now the main meeting could see my screen as soon as I press start broadcast. And you can make sure you turn your microphone on and just press start broadcast and they could see your screen. I can't do it in this case because I'm actually capturing and recording my screen. So you can't do both, but you would only do this if you're making a video just like I am. But that's that simple to start a meeting. And the only problem you may come across is if the host does not allow everybody to share their screen. So as a participant, that may be the problem. Just ask the host to turn on that setting that I showed you and then you could share your screen with them on a mobile device just like this one or on your computer Zoom's app. 
I hope you found this video useful. I post easy to follow tech videos on this channel every single day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.